Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here today. We're gonna get a message from someone new that entered your life recently. We're gonna find out what it is that they want, okay? So all new energy and we're gonna find out what it is this new person wants, okay? So I'm gonna get three different piles, three different cards, three different options. Choice number one, secret of the universe. If you want to choose pile number two, peace. And option number three, proof. Proof. The proof card. So if you guys want a reading with me, a personal one-on-one, -on -one, I do all that. Uh, coaching also, guys, I wanted to tell you, um, I'm doing cheaper coaching for September. So if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one Zoom call, information is down in the description for an hour-long session with me. Life coaching, uh learn tarot, pretty much anything you want. Also reading. It could be a whole reading during the hour session. It doesn't matter. Reiki. We do a whole bunch of cool stuff over there. All right. Let's start with pile one, secret of the universe. Hi guys. Welcome. Check out Patreon. You know, you want to, if it does resonate and you want a personal one-on-one -on -one with me, there's a little bit of a sale for September. Hi, how are you? Hi. This person's name could start with a D, D like David, Dennis, secret of the universe. Hey, Pi one. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? All right. This new person on your mind. Let's see. Crossroads. I heard crossroads. I think you're at a crossroads already with this person. It's a new person that came in. Let's see. Yeah. You're already contemplating walking away. What? Two of Pentacles. Do you think they're juggling lovers? You think they have like multiple options or some shit? Gemini energy here. The sun, Leo. I think something is being discovered. You're, you're gaining some sort of awareness. A secret about this person, pile one, is that they have their options and you know it and you see it. You're kind of wondering, like, should I fight for this? Nine of Wands, or should I let it go? This person's quite the Casanova. I mean, they have a lot of options. Five of Swords, they do. They have, wow, they have quite a lot of people fighting for them. I think that you guys are willing to give it up, Nine of Swords. I think you're worried that somebody's going to steal this person away from you or something. They can't. They literally cannot. If you realize that you are the operant power of your reality, you're God. No one else can take this from you. I see you guys stuck. I see you guys stuck right now. Um, well, this news person's intentions. They, I, I definitely see they are playing the field a little bit. They're, they're trying not to settle. Three of Wands. Like, I don't think this is somebody who's going out and sowing their wild seeds. Or what is it called? Sowing their wild oats or whatever. I don't think they're doing that. But I just, oh, I say that. Oh, I say that. And there's the Knight of Wands. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The Chariot King comes in reverse. Guys, this... Okay. <sighs> Maybe they do have more... They, they might be juggling more than you. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. The Emperor. Okay. Okay. Well, pile one. I am getting that this person is already not your top priority because I don't think they're treating you like a top priority even though this person is new they're new in your life but you're gaining way too many secrets about what they're about okay it's like it's like they're you're you're learning a lot about what they're about and I think they've tried to keep it well under wraps okay two of cups queen of swords I think you're cutting this person out Their intentions. Their intentions for you, pile one. Page, very flirty. Page of cups. Flirt, take you on dates. But I am not getting a lot of commitment from this one. I'm not getting commitment. I'm getting, you're cutting them out already, king of pentacles. You're more stable than they are. I think you're about to reject this one. That I, It's new, but it's like it's already, you're already like, ugh. 
they have a family, they have something that's like taking up all of the time. You think they're juggling something and they are. They are juggling. The star. Ten of Wands. It's like you're making this person your top priority, your star of your show. And they are too burdened to return the favor. I feel like during this season, hermit season, Virgo season, um, you're going to probably tell this person to kick rocks. I see you making them your top priority. Or you make them your top priority. But they are not making you their top priority. Priority. Three of cups. They have a third party. They have someone else. A family, um, a business, someone they're giving energy and time into. And I feel you guys pile one. It's like, even though it's new, you're already wanting to like, dump this person. Chariot in reverse. Yeah. If you're wondering if you go towards someone else, is it going to get better? The answer is yes. Pile one. Heavy cancer energy here. If you, if you are thinking about dropping this person and moving towards someone more, more emotionally available, that shit is so possible. Not only is it possible, it, it's inevitable. I feel like Pile One, even though this person's new, they're just not doing it for you. Mm -mm. I think they're juggling and they're never going to give to you what you are owed. So I think some of you are already like, you know what? You might be new, but uh, I'm not. I'm not that new. I've been around to know what this looks like. This is somebody juggling you. So, all right, guys, good luck to you. If you want a personal, the information's in the description. For $8 a month, I have a ton of pick of cards on Patreon if you're interested like a hundred and some odd videos over there. Go check it out. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>
Oh my God, to love you, girl. To love you, Empress. Oh my God. Ah, Empress, oh my God. To be your one and only. Okay. Okay. I heard the number 16. That could be important. You could born on the 16th or the 8th. Wow. Okay. What are their intentions? Holy shit balls. Their intentions are to leave this person for you. Um, I heard craving. I have a craving for you. You, okay. I've been told pile two that you think you have a craving for this person. It's insatiable on their end insatiable what the fuck are you doing to them because they are practically drooling foaming at the mouth waiting for you oh the lovers bitch come on gemini energy here capricorn leo oh my god what are you doing what do you do to this person bro they have gone absolute ape shit over you but over your energy and people are talking about this there is that woman talking about this death that that and ooh, that is ending and you are filling the the spot there's like a there's like a spot where a woman was and now you're about to take it <laughs> oh my god okay um tell me more spirit tell me more pile pile two tell me more of their intentions oh my god i love you six of swords to travel with you some about traveling they might travel to be with you they might travel to leave a person to be with you Th girl i swear to god the third party there is a third party and they are leaving a third party for you yeah oh my god two of pence it, it's like whatever they were juggling they're leaving it alone they are leaving it alone it is a woman i'm getting that for pile two here all right what's your intentions uh to love you i'm also hearing a lot of songs i hear singing um i'm hearing this person sings the blues something about um they sing the blues rap the blues it's something about like sad songs from the heart Page of Swords or their intentions to kind of test to test, test the waters with you. Ooh, the moon. They're not exactly sure where you stand on things. So they're kind of trying to like dip their toe in and like see, okay, well, if I contact pile two, what are they going to do? What are they going to say? If I mention this, what are they going to say? This person wants to test the waters with you. New person's, um, if this is somebody from the past, like, I feel like they're proving it. I feel like they're proving you are the one. If they're brand new, they're still proving they're the one. They're ending something, guys. This person... What was that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I heard something move, and I felt it move, but then there's, like, nothing. Creepy, creepy. I was just on the phone with my friend, and we both smelled horse manure at the same time while we were talking about a horse farm. We were just talking about a horse farm. And we started smelling horse manure at the same time. I was like, oh my God, it smells like a horse farm. And he said the same thing. He's like, I swear to God, I smelled manure. It, it's, I don't know, but something about your guys' connection is kind of like that. I'm also getting a telepathic connection here with the uh, Page of Swords and the Moon. This is my card for the subconscious. I feel like you guys actually talk to each other subconsciously. They have never loved anybody like this ever in their life. Okay, I heard the name Vanessa. Pile two, please, spirit. Pile two. The magician, bitch. There's something so metaphysical about this connection. I feel like you guys are manifesting like synchronicities, um, run-ins with each other, or you're seeing their name everywhere. Something like that. This person is the same way. They're seeing so many fucking signs about you. You guys are manifesting each other. Ooh, the fool. Ooh, strength. Yes. Wow. You guys are manifesting each other. Mm-hmm. Very powerful. A very powerful manifesto you have on your hands. Okay, let's see what their intentions are. What are their intentions? This new person's intentions, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Accelerated motion. Foundation and achievements. Here's my Four of Wands card. This is the Twin Flame card for me. Eight of Wands, Four of Wands. This person does want to move fast. They do. They're thinking that you may not like that firm foundation. Like you want something a little bit slower, but they want to go fast. Awareness, magician, because you guys have been manifesting each other so fucking long that it's almost like there's so much momentum behind you two being together and being successful that the universe is kind of just hundred miles a minute colliding you two together. Oh, they want it, honey. Oh, they want this. This person, your person fucking wants you, pile two. 
All right, they, they're, they're doing everything in their, in their capability of manifesting this, all right? I got the name Nick. I heard like Roy, Corduroy or something like that. Um, they could have got a new car recently. Three of Cups. Again, something about the third party. They're willing to drop the third party for you. Mm -hmm. What do they want to say? What do they want to say? I'm going to fight for you. Five of Swords. I'm going to fight for us. I'm going to war for us. King of Wands. There it is. King of Wands with the Five of Swords. I am going to be able to handle this now. They are not only going to fight for love. They're going to fight for you guys. Damn. Damn. This is somebody who's going to tell all their friends, all their family about you right off the gate. Some people... Listen, I'm hearing some people might judge how fast it is, but it's a soul connection. And you guys have been manifesting each other for so long that it has to be this way. This is the speed of the connection. This is the speed of the soul. This is not society dictating how fast or slow this shit goes. All right. You need to know that, Kyle, too. So their intentions, leave a third party for you. Defend you. Protect you. Keep this union safe. The star. We have Aquarius energy here. You are their star. And this person is going to make everybody full Full aware. Full transparency. Oh, shit. Everybody will be fully aware. Nine of swords. Um, they, you, Your person in the past used to be scared of doing stuff like this. Like, either to fight for you or to fight for connections in general. They used to be a little bit afraid, but I'm really getting they're about to do this now. Three of pentacles. They think other people are going to judge you. Magician. 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 Um, they're going to judge. Oh, my God. A four of wands, bitch. We got the magician and the four of wands. You guys have literally manifested your true divine counterpart. They think other people are going to judge you too and how fast it goes. But I heard wicked ways, wicked ways. People think that you're like really wicked because you like manifested union with this person successfully. People think you're wicked or something because you're stealing their person from them. What the fuck? Girl, sometimes, sometimes shit like that comes through. The hangman here. We have Pisces, energy, Gemini, the hangman. Yeah, these people... Okay. All right. This is what I heard. That's what I heard. You know, in the Bible, when it says all are cursed who hang on a tree and men are trees in the book, in the, in the Bible, it's, it, it's a metaphor for men, right? And women, it's, it's humans. I feel like they have so, this person has so many people attached to them that the second they leave them and come to you, it's like, it's on, it's on. They know it's on and they're about to have to fight. And this person is going to fight for you. Their intentions are to fight for this connection to the nail pile too. The fool. They're going to take the risk, bitch. Queen of swords, five of wands. Thank you, Jesus. This is literally the card of conflict. And your person is going to be like whooping some ass. Okay. They're, they're taking the risk. They're taking the risk for you. I'm hearing like, excuse me, that's my girlfriend. Excuse me, that's my boyfriend. What? Like, like this person is not joking around. They're about to dish it cold. Whatever these people deserve, they're about to give it to them. And some of them I'm hearing, it's like, it's like a tongue lashing. It's like back the fuck up off them. Back the fuck up off me. Yeah. This union is safe. This person's going to defend this union. So pile two, um, the new person on your mind, what are they going to do? Or what are they thinking? They're thinking they have to defend this connection and they very much want to because it's you. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Ooh, hi guys. How you doing? Hey, so I, I hear you got somebody, um, listen, listen, you got somebody a little challenging on your hands is what I'm hearing. Are they going a little hard on purpose? Like, is this person giving you challenges on purpose me thinks so i feel like this is the type of person that likes to make sure like i'm hearing pure purity this person makes people go through some sort of what is it like not fitness test that's not the word um you know when you um go through like a course, like an obstacle course. They make people go through shit to get in their good graces. I guess it's a good thing. It's like, it's like a vetting process. I feel like you're going through the vetting process with this new person already. Like some of you might not even know this person yet. They might be on like your social media stalking you and you're already going through the vetting process. Don't worry, you'll get there. But I do feel that most of you already know this person. You're going through a vetting process right now. Man, because who is this? 
they have to be pretty important because they have like a screening process in pile three. I'm getting your in the screening process for this person, not the other way around. Okay. I heard the name Brenda. Debbie. Your dates of birth could be similar. I'm hearing DOB, date of birth. Same zodiac sign maybe or I don't know. Like really close, really close in birth or something. Okay, what is this person? Uh, pile three, pile three. All right, two man spirit. Heard uncle for somebody. This could be somebody's uncle. Who is this? Let's see. Let's first get some vibes. King of Wands. They're very important, whoever this is. They're just tired of people making them fried, exhausted. So they have a very stringent vetting process and you are kind of in the midst of it right now which kind of sucks i don't think you did anything to deserve this scrutiny but you are like under a fine microscope right now with this person pile three queen of wands because this person thinks you might be the one. Oh my god that's why girl king and queen of wands sagittarius energy here they think that if they wait long enough they're gonna see proof that you're the king to the queen or the queen to the king of the same suit. They think that, that if they wait long enough, you will somehow prove to them that you are who you say you are. What the fuck? Like they have to wait long enough though. Let's see. What's, 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 what, what is this about? Three of wands. Like I'm hearing just waiting there, waiting there, waiting there. But yet they could have you right now. This is the card of like your ships are already here, bro. Turn around and go fucking accept it as it is right now. But yet they're not. They're not. It's like they're... I don't know. What is this? The chariot. They're moving towards you, but they're doing it in the weirdest way ever. The lovers. You guys. Is this person giving you a hard time? Temperance. Why are they doing this? The emperor, they want to be in power, bitch. I'm telling you. The magician, look, there's a little something sneaky, sneaky about this one. This one's got a little bit of a sneak attack. This one has all but ghosted you or pulled away or barely gives you like bread. I don't know. This is a fucking player. This is somebody who's barely giving you breadcrumbs while you're under a fine tooth comb. Like this person is literally monitoring you. Ace of Pentacles, wanting to offer you shit, but yet going about it all the wrong way. How is this person approaching you? Not the right way. Page of Wands. Coming through like a page. They're an emperor. This is a fucking emperor with a magician. What the fuck are they giving you page-ass energy for? The devil. Listen, somebody here needs to know. This person is, they might be the right one, but they're treating you. They're putting you in a category of their ex. They're treating you like you're somehow deranged, like one of their exes or something. This person should not be making you go through all of this. You didn't do anything to them. Death. Listen, listen. If anything, if anything, if you've pulled your energy back and you like dismiss this person, are they holding on to a grudge? I don't know, man. Listen, something about this person is like, the death, death and the devil. It's almost like uh, you have to wait for the death of the devil. You're waiting for the death of their ego. Ego death. This person is so the right person for you. But they're coming in with a big ass ego. It's like you can see it from a mile away. Girl. Queen of Cups. I think you're so fucking intuitive. You know that this person is even leading with ego. They might be new and it might be the right connection. It might be the right person. It feels like it. Feels like the right person, but with way too much ego. So what's the advice here? Ace of Swords. I'm hearing wait it out. This is the right person. This is the right person, believe it or not. They're giving you fucking breadcrumbs, though. So when you guys meet this person for the first time, I, I wouldn't get too carried away with thinking this is a long-term thing right off the bat. Because it almost looks like you guys go through a little bit of a, uh, like a hiccup. Like they break up with you or something. Wheel of Fortune. I feel like something is changing in this dynamic. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Something in the dynamic is changing. It's shifting. Okay. What's happening here, Spirit? 
I have, ooh. Guys, guys, pile three. If you meet somebody recent, soon, okay? And they then ghost you or give you breadcrumbs, girl, let them walk. Let them walk away because as soon as they do, look. Five of cups, they end up missing your ass so fast. It's insane. It's insane. That's how you know this person's filled with ego because they're going to end up pushing you away, like right away. Let them, please, for the love of God, let this person push you away because the five of cups, when they are not with you, oh my God, they're losing their shit. You know what it is? You know what it is? I'm going to tell you what it is. Pile three. It's that you guys are actually calling this player's bluff. You're doing it. You're actually calling the bluff. Do it. Do it, bitch. Do it. Do it. I heard the name Todd. I'm hearing Tyler. Do it. Because this person, it's like proof. You are going to see proof that this person is like absolutely obsessed with you. The fool. And they're coming right back with the tail between their legs. Girl, that's what I'm hearing. Seven of swords. Look, you cannot. You can't lie to pile three. There's no way. You're too intuitive with the queen of cups. Way too intuitive. This is like. They're going to come back with a tail between their legs saying like, okay, I lied. I lied. We should do this. Okay, sure. So it, it looks like pile three, you meet this person. It's really good. And then it, er, it halts real fast. And then you're like, yeah, no, I don't care. It's not that big of a deal. You pull your energy back. And I feel like it's so easy for you to do that this per person goes through like a mid like fucking crisis over your energy being pulled back. So what's the advice here for pile three? Eight of Pentacles, it's working. Keep going. Like, like pull your energy back. Invest it into you and securing the bag or in, in your family or something. And I'm telling you what, this person's going to go ape shit. They can't handle being without you already. What does this person like about you so much? Six of Swords. Seven of Cups. They like your mental clarity. They feel like you give them a lot of help when they're going through something rough. That's exactly why they're going to start um, regretting not having you in their arsenal. This is like, this is like, you are an asset as a high priestess and they're not valuing it. You meet, you guys, it's so intense. It's so passionate that they leave. And when they leave, I'm telling you, they miss you like the whole time. Let's actually get a message from this person. I didn't do this for the other two, but you're special. You're special, pile three. If you guys want a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm doing, um, I, I have a discount for September. For my one-on-one -on -one coaching if you're interested yeah zoom call zoom coaching readings whatever you want over there for a whole hour with me check it out information down below let's see what is this message from this person why are you so afraid of commitment i'm telling you at first they get so fucking shell-shocked they get so scared that they meet you and it's so intense i haven't made up my mind yet you guys meet when neither one of you are looking. That's what I'm getting. Like, neither one of you are ready for commitment at first when you meet. Why are you so afraid of commitment? Well, because I haven't made my mind up yet about commitment. But yeah, I see that that's what's going to change in this connection. So you go from meeting, immediately hitting it off, very intense, to kind of sporadic once in a while. Like, you see each other and then boom, it's over. And by this point, though, what I'm hearing is, like, you're not going to chase you're not chasing. So you're actually letting them go. And this is what makes them miss you. What is there to miss when you're all around them in their energy? Nothing. They don't miss you. They don't miss you when you're all up in their bubble. So get out of their bubble, okay? <laughs> ghosted. You can't make that shit up. You literally can't. I stopped, I stopped shuffling on ghosted. Ghosted, and then I can't wait to see you again. Ghosted, and then I can't say, you see? You ghost them. You pull your energy back. And all of a sudden they're like, oh my God, I can't wait to see pile three again. Right? It's kind of sucky. I know how, I know, but that is how it works, guys. This person thinks you're the one. Let's see. Spirit. Can... No. At first they say no. Well, okay. Tell me more. I, I said that and then no came out. They don't think you're the one. It's like they have to be reminded you're the one or something. No one loves me like you do. For them being the one? Why'd I get no? I don't know. This, 
tell me more. They're thinking. This chemistry though, it's like we're the same person. See, it says, it's like we're the same person. This chemistry though. I love your sense of humor. But in the 3D physical world, they feel like a little insecure or something. They feel insecure, but ironically, of all three piles, this person has like the most It could be the most confident, but yet they're, they're the most scared, but they look the most confident. Huh? How? I feel like pile three, you've got like a really big player. Like this is a very, um, big energy. Okay. And they try to convince everyone that they are doing okay, but they are really, really not. At first, they are not sure of this commitment, of this commitment and this connection. Um, they might even have a hard time at first agreeing that you guys are soulmates or some shit like that. Cause they have like, they, in the beginning, like this person really does try to throw you off. Like they, they are literally trying to convince you that they don't like you. <laughs> and they're even trying to convince themselves too that, that you guys are not soulmates or you're not even really supposed to be together or something. But I'm telling you right now, this person starts missing you the second you pull your energy back. What is, what is their intention? Pile three's person's intention for them. The unexpected. We don't know. Like, we don't know. It's always so unexpected. It's like when this person comes in extremes. Look at this. Look at this. You guys, is this the one? I think they are. They might be your person. You keep getting extreme unexpected news when you're around them. That is how you know. I think this is your, this might be, this may be. We have 3443. Look at you guys mirroring each other too. See, 3443. Something about the extreme unexpected shit that happens when you're in this connection. That right there should tell you everything you need to know. I think it's the one. I'm just a hopeless romantic though. Don't believe me. Believe you, believe your own heart, believe your own soul, believe your spirit guides. But honestly, the fact that there's so much weird unexpected shit that happens when you guys meet up. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I just feel like they even try it their best at first to like convince themselves this isn't it because they just don't want to well I don't know four of wands bitch on a split come on I don't know they just don't want to commit at first they do not want to commit this one does not want to commit they do not want to be in a commitment when you first meet them but I'm telling you right now this is the right person okay wrong time right person so their intentions right now to run. Their intentions are to run from you, okay? Um, but they will eventually start missing you a lot. You need to believe that. Um, again, if you guys want a personal, all the information's in the description. I'll talk to you later, okay? I love you. Bye, guys.